Directed mode has just been added to Black Ops 6 Zombies, which is a game mode that helps new players complete the easter egg for the first time. So I wanted to test it out, see if it's worth trying and if it makes the game a little bit too easy. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to be using the new Krieg as well because I've not uh, used this AI yet and it's just come from the battle pass. So we'll start and see uh, what it's like. I'm expecting it to give us, see there we've got a round cap in the corner. So I think this is going to be sort of easy mode for this easter egg. Obviously the first thing we're going to need to do is build the uh, jet gun. So we got to open this here. I can't lie, this, uh, this AR already feels pretty good. It's like a one-shot headshot right now. I'm excited to get it leveled up and see what it's like fully maxed out. The only problem I could see with this is I don't know how it's going to work with the round cap because if it's limiting us to round three, then surely I'm not going to get enough points to go and open up everything and then build the jet gun. The last time I did the Easter egg on Liberty Falls was to try and do it in under half an hour. So this feels very slow compared to the last time I did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. This, uh, this, uh, this Krieg 6, even just stock, feels really good actually. Actually. I wonder how good it will be on multiplayer when compared to the other ARs in the game. It feels like it will be pretty good though. So obviously the first thing we got to do is build the jet gun. So we need to grab this water valve. Oh, search for clues inside the motel room. Okay. I mean, I don't know what clues I need. I kind of already know what we're doing here, but... Okay. So I literally just had to go to that for nothing. Wait for the groundskeeper to hit it. So I've got to do it. I'm going to do it as it says then. I'm going to do it one at a time. So even on the map, we've got like an actual objective area where we can spawn. So I guess we just kind of stand about here and shoot zombies until he randomly appears. All right, here we go. So here's the groundkeeper. I'll take his tool, uh, his tool shed key. So now obviously the next step is to, as it shows here, just to go into the shed and grab the handbrake break open the so now we all right so now it's telling us we need to do the liberty lanes part which is probably the hardest part of building the jack gun to be fair i still don't understand what it means though by round cap because when i got to the round cap which was free originally and beat that round it just kind of put us on to the next round so not entirely sure how it's supposed to work but i guess we'll uh we'll keep playing anyways i wonder if the zombies attacking you then will be minimized okay i can't i can't keep doing that that's gonna get me killed should be able to just stick this now there we go. So that's that part of the objective complete. Right, so we pick up the water pressure valve and then the last thing to do is to get a mangler cannon. So either we buy one, but I don't think we have enough salvage right now. I'm just going to kill zombies then until we get to round 11 so a mangler can spawn and then we'll go from there. So it's not like completely catered to just pure bots because it doesn't say like you've got to get a mangler cannon through killing a mangler. Like it, it, it kind of just assumes, you know, because it's an 18 game, it assumes you've got a few brain cells left. I'm going to go buy speed collar as well while I get through these rounds because I am feeling very slow. Yeah, this Krieg is slapping these zombies right now. I was going to try and cheese it a bit and wait for this and the new SMG to come out and then do those in Nebula. But I've only got like three, four guns left to get in gold and I've already done the launches in Diamond or Opal. So I think I'm going to still do the, this gun and the other gun anyways because they're still pretty nice. It seems like the round cap is doing its job. The zombie Zombies keep just coming almost like forever at round 11, but no manglers. Oh, never, <laughs> never mind. So obviously you got to shoot off his cannon. There we go. And now we can uh, open this radio store and get the final part for the jet gun. Okay, I might have been cooked there. Jesus Christ. There we go. There's the electrical wire thingy magic my jog. The next thing we gotta do is build the jet gun and then we can start properly doing the Easter egg. This has taken like 20 minutes just to get to this point by the way. So we build the Frustone Din Model Okay, 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 okay. Jesus. So objective update. I it literally shows you where every part is that you need to suck it as well. That's crazy. I get it's guided, but it just feels so easy, man. Have they fixed that? Can you not suck it through the ceiling anymore? I think you do. Right, there we go. We've got it. I mean, I thought you could still suck it through the ceiling. I guess they uh, fixed that or something. I don't know. And then obviously the final part is just chilling up here. So we need to suck that in. And then we can go and craft the LCG device. This mode is kind of just like a Mr. Ruffle Waffles video, but live in the game. It's basically what it is. It's, I don't, it's not that bad, actually. I mean, it definitely, if you're a new player and you find, I don't know, the idea of hold up 
Wonder Fizz at round 11. What? Yeah, this is kind of like having a Mr. Ruffle Waffles video, but in the game. Which, um, if, yeah, if you're a new player, this is definitely going to help. And it's not as OP. Like, I thought they would make it so, like, the zombie difficulty is easier or something like that which have been would have been just crazy so now we put the uh, ether canister by this trap and we can put the lgd to uh, lgt device by this here okay that's one thing i think i've noticed oh never mind i was gonna say they don't run into the portal because two targeted me then but they definitely do you know i was just thinking then actually with the uh final boss fight maybe it was a mistake using this this gun but i guess we'll i guess we'll see like normally when i did uh, it as quick as i could I use the dual pistol thing, whatever it's called, the Mustang and Sally. So what we're gonna get, we're gonna get a abomination. Right. Did we oh my god, did I not kill him on target? Yeah, I think I'm just bad at the game. Maybe I'm someone who needs this mode. And if that's not in, then I don't know what is. There we go. So we deposit this in here and grab the Strauss counter. Now this is what I think will be interesting to see how they describe it because when I first did this easter egg I didn't read a guide properly and I found this so so confusing. So the first one is literally marked out for us. I was gonna I was gonna say that it's here but yeah, you can see that. So it's green so this needs to be set to red. Right so we need to go down here now open this up and this one is set to green as well. There we go and then the final one is this is also green so I don't know if that's just I, I don't think I've ever had that. So now we can go and drop this here and put this canister on this trap here. Uh, yeah, I don't think the zombies do have like less health or it's easier to kill them or they go easy on you kind of thing. Yeah, we've got a, a mangler here so we need to weaken him down and then kill him while the trap is active. There we go. So right, so we deposit this here and then we're ready to start the final easter egg when, we're, when we want. I'm going to get a few more points, pack a punch the jet gun as well just so we have an actual chance to pack punch this bad boy and i'm gonna get a bit more salvage but yeah i want to make this gun purple and then we'll uh we'll go straight into the easter egg and hopefully i don't die straight away because that would be very embarrassing i think we will just stick around for like a couple more rounds so we can get 15k you know what no that would be really boring i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go for it now so our last thing is just to survive okay <laughs> okay so we're gonna whip out the trusty old jet gun for this first part yeah this um krieger i think it was called is it the krieger or the krieg uh, it's a uh, pretty goaded i can't lie this is another thing do you reckon they'll have like you know like the beefed up versions of the mini bosses in this or do you think they'll just uh, stay as normal like right now we've had three manglers but not a single whatever they're called the upgraded mangler there we go so now we've got two more waves the third one is a little bit chaotic but it's not like impossible or anything so i guess we'll see if uh, it actually gets that hard with this mode on or not so what's this oh we do have a uh, upgraded mangler which means we'll get an upgraded abomination in the third round every time i go to the gym this is the guy i spy to be he's so wham it's ridiculous the mustang and sally right now would be lovely to deal with this guy but we don't have that uh, that luxury. I don't know why I didn't use them. This would this would be a hell of a lot easier, but I really wanted to try out this new uh, Krieg and see if it's any good. And so far, it's delivering. Speaking of which, if you do want to see a video of me unlocking Nebula, then let me know down in the comments because I'm really close to getting that done now. So we got a max ammo. Now we've got one more round and then the Easter egg is done. Here he is. This final boss fight at like round 15 is super easy. I guess it kind of helps then with the limited rounds. Makes things a lot easier, I've noticed. Because the zombies spawn more, like when you reach a round cap, it means you can get more points and whatnot, but then not have to do the boss fight at like round 30. And it makes it quite easy, to be honest with you. Here we are, so last few bullets and he should be dead. So that should be end of the Easter egg. There we go. And that is it, that is directed mode on Libic Falls. Now let's watch this cutscene for the 500th time. Now when I say that this is a good feature, well, I don't think it's as OP as I thought it was going to be. And if you're a new player or with a group of new players and you don't want to keep pausing to go and watch a Mr. Raffle Waffles video, then I don't think this feature is bad and it definitely makes it a bit clearer with how to do the Easter egg and what you're doing. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies content, then leave a comment below, subscribe if you're new and like the video. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later.